Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon, and uh, Sagittarius Rising Weekly Tower Reading, September 2nd to uh, September 8th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the cards, and we're gonna jump right into it. Right, so the first card which stands for the topic of your Sagittarius uh, week is going to be the Devil card, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome, guys. That is going to be uh, the King, uh, the Knight of Swords here. Uh, afterwards, we do have the Ace of Wands which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week, and then the last one that we do have, it is the uh, Tree of Wands that represents the Guidance. Uh, all right, so, um, well, it looks like that uh, this week you're going to have it exactly the way you want it for what it seems here, um, um, in a sense of, you know, the right circumstances, the right timing, the, the right window, and uh, all that it comes is what you do from all these um means all right from all this 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 environment that it is um that it is opening um in front of you because um well let's run the cards one more time time and then we're gonna see how this exactly plays out so we do have the devil card for the uh general topic in the team of uh, the week followed by the next one which stands for the uh challenges that is going to be the knight of swords Afterwards, what we do have, it is the Ace of Wands, <clears throat> representing the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Tree of Wands, that stands for the uh, guidance the Tower is offering. So, the Devil card. Well, the Devil card usually represents power. Um, power in the sense of that uh, we can go for what our soul Yearns. Okay, so there are no boundaries anymore uh, to do things we like, to do things we crave for, to do things or to go for a things that we wish. Now, important thing to know is that with the devil card, we, in this case, you Sagittarius, can create these circumstances which will allow you to go for that thing. Okay for the new job, for the new suitor, for example, or to do something into your relationship or your current job that is going to improve your circumstances. So, uh, so you, well, it's going to improve your status, all right? Because the circumstances, it is you who, uh, who are creating those circumstances. So for that reason, um, it could go either way, okay? Um, one could use those circumstances to build Others could use those circumstances to destroy. It is entirely, entirely up to you. But the thing here is that uh, you should be mindful, you know, of what you are using this momentum, this drive, this impulse, because ultimately at the end of the day, um, you will have to face the consequences of, uh, of your actions. 
So when we do have the devil card, usually uh, calls uh, for, how do I say it? Well, it does point that hungers and wishes are going to be resurfaced, okay? And you need to be, you need to examine where your hunger and where your wishes are leading you toward. And it is that direction that you will have the chance or rather like the circumstances to, to push forward to. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Cups. The formation, it is a passive friends that we do have. So with the Page of Cups, we're talking about an overview, okay? Rather than a, a minor detail. So we're talking about a big thing or a big endeavor, big agenda, big relationship, big job that you can start working, for example, or big relationship that you can start being in. The thing, however, is that with these two cards, you need to reposition yourself, okay? You cannot be the same person as you have been before. It will require from you to do a critical analysis, self-assessment, if you want to say it that way, you know, so you can leave some outdated, if you want to say habits, performance, you know, or simply how you do things back in the past and realign yourself with this change which you are provoking that it is looming on the horizon now the next one it is about the uh, challenges that you need to face and that is a person that we do have knights of swords very tenacious and in some in some aspects a bit reckless person someone who does have a uh, analytical agility all right and intellectual um intellectual subtlety here and uh, usually the um, the Knight of Swords is very, how can I put it, uh, uh, pushy, okay? Knight of Swords is someone who follows one set goal, follows one set agenda, and for one or another reason, you are deviating from that agenda. Now, you need to know that the Knight of Swords does not follow his own agenda, okay? He follows the agenda of the community, the agenda of the uh, the greater good, for example, of the grand scheme of things, and now you are deviating from this agenda. So what is the challenge? Well, in my book, uh, looking at these cards, the challenge is that you cannot any longer rely on this person. So that speaks to me that that could be a good associate of yours, you know, or a good friend of yours, that simply you are parting ways throughout this week, or you're working on a completely, completely different stuff. And uh, with the Sun card here, it will be very rough, okay? The formation, first of all, it is a active friends. It will be very rough and difficult to maintain friendship, to maintain good terms with this person, to maintain a, a mutual interests, if you want to say it that way, and to grow together as friends and as a... Um, as a, uh, as a relationship, if you want to say it that way. Now, this isn't a romantic relationship. It looks like more as a friendship, like I said, or a cooperation. And the best thing you can do throughout the week is just put that cooperation or a friendship into halt until, you know, you, uh, you and that person as well, kind of like a finalize your individual goals. The next card that we do have is going to be about the positive aspect, and that will be the gaining for enterprise here this yearning this craving this this hunger that you do have that needs to be satisfied throughout the week so <clears throat> once you start satisfying your hunger figuratively speaking okay uh you will kind of like enter in times of rather a bit chaotic environment chaotic in a sense of that everything is going to be a bit interesting for you to explore to perform and etc etc because you know you haven't faced it in a such a fashion or in a such a manner up until this point, very likely that you're going to find out that you're good at something you had no idea at. For example, you may find out that you're good at painting. You may find out that you're good at singing, all right? You may find out that you're good at, at managing teams or that you're good at swimming. I don't know, you know, it's just this card points that you're going to... Um, nourish a unfound talent, slumber talents, talents that you had no idea you possess. <coughs> Excuse me, because um, this, uh, this drive or rather like the path that leads you towards your craving does require those talents. And one way or another, should you want to be at the end of this path, you need to develop those 
skills. The accompanied card here is going to be the uh, Knight of Cups, the formation. It is the active enemies that we do have. So um, the chance is on, uh, is on your side. Chance in the sense of, you know, luck. Okay, because the Knight of Cups is someone who does not rely on chance. So the Knight of Cups is someone who rely only on personal performance and only personal performance breed results. But here as a in a positive position and as an uh, active enemy to the uh, Ace of Wands, many things will, will align for you on their own accord. So I do believe that this week it is a very... Uh, it's a very fortunate week for you, uh, Sagittarius, is to find a, to find a new job or to find a job in general, to find a, a relationship, and it is again finding these things are not gonna be um, brought to you on a platter. All right, you have the power to force the circumstances. You have the power to chase it, and that's why you need to roll up your sleeves and stop slacking, you know, stop pitying yourself, stop commiserating yourself, stop making excuses to yourself that, for example, that you don't have time, that you don't have money, you know, that you don't have a good um, alignment and etc, etc. Now, before we go to the last card, I want to make a point here about the Devil card. Now, many people think that the Devil card is a bad card and... Uh, yeah, while the, the, the devil card is tied to the religion, many people forget what the purpose of the devil is. So the devil, uh, the purpose of the devil is to prove that your soul is unworthy of to go into heaven, right? That, that is the main purpose so it can drag you to hell. That is the main purpose of the devil. And how the devil does that? By giving you everything you want. So you kind of fall into gluttony, fall into greed and all these kind of mortal sins, how we call it. So the devil gives you everything you want, but what you do with it is entirely up to you. Okay? For example, if the devil gives you wealth in form of money, <clears throat> you know, you may not indulge into it. You may start doing charities, you may start helping people and etc, etc. So while the devil gives you the means, gives you the circumstances, you know, you may not condemn your soul with it. As a matter of fact, you can do good with it. That's why it's very important when you force the circumstances, when you finally have what you what you are craving for, all right, to do the right thing with it. Uh, the last card that we do have it is the Tree of uh, Wands. This is going to be the guidance the Tower is offering to you, um, Sagittarius. And uh, the Tree of Wands here sits as a, that you are sitting on a, a well-found patterns, established concepts, all right? A, a good foundation in general. And it is a card pointing that there is, if you continue on in the same way that you are doing right now, you know, um, and you don't change anything into your performance or anything into your goals, you know, or anything into your dreams, there won't be any growth anymore. For that reason, you have to challenge yourself with new goals, new agenda, new ways of how you do things, you know, uncover new talents um, or discover new talents of yourself, learn something new. That's, that's the whole point of the Ace of Wands and the Three of Wands into this position. So it's all about challenging yourself to grow, challenging yourself to um, explore new horizons. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Pentacles. The formation, it is a uh, active neutrals that we do have. So here with the, Ace of with the Page of Pentacles, actually a very um, carefree, I would classify it, combo. It does point that you have a room to try out, you do have a room to um, explore, you do have a room to um, experiment was the right word that I was searching for. Uh, sometimes um, with this with this combination, sometimes you may have to invest a little bit more than you have anticipated as time, as money, you know, or um, as, uh, as efforts into one specific try or into one specific exploration, okay? But at the end of the day, it will going to uh, worth it. So that being said, uh, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, September 2nd to September 8th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.